Thank you for joining me today. This is the 22nd in a series of very special Hangouts on Air for business-to-business -business companies that use Sage 50 accounting software. Today, we're going to take another look at Santico, but from a different perspective. We're going to look at Santico as a Sage 50 cloud to get work done Facebook-like and stand from the crowd. My name is Hugh Johnson. I'm head of business development at Santico. And if you enjoy today's Hangout on Air, please share it with your friends and followers on your social networks. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can do so via the normal social channels or by email at hugh.johnson at santico.com. But first, why? Why on earth would you want to stick a Facebook-like cloud interface onto your Sage 50 accounting software? Well, the answer is very simple. It's to do with productivity. Because in a small to medium-sized business-to-business company, maybe employing 10 to 100 people, most of your important work starts or ends or both in your Sage 50 accounting software. Yet most of the people in your business that are doing this important work do not actually have access to your Sage 50 accounting software and its data. So I think you can immediately begin to see potential problems and potential issues with productivity across the company. But instead of speculating, let's get a little bit scientific. Because what I've done is I have plotted US company productivity by company size. On the y-axis, what we have is revenue per payroll cost. And on the x-axis, we have company size. And actually, what you see is this kind of bathtub effect. We're right at the bottom of the bathtub, at the ebb of productivity where the water runs out are companies employing 10 to 100 people. And these companies struggle with productivity. But if they could just match the productivity of their purple cousins, if those red companies employing 10 to 100 people could match the average productivity of their purple cousins, it would be the equivalent of adding a million dollars a year to, the, to their top line without adding a single dime to their payroll costs. That has to be something worth, worth sh shooting for. So if we're thinking about productivity, what's the real issue? Well, it actually comes down, the biggest issue comes down to simply looking for information. And McKinsey did a study on this and they concluded actually that knowledge workers can spend up to a day a week simply searching for the information that they need to do their job. And this is specifically what Santico is designed to address. For small to medium sized companies employing 10 to 100 people that use Sage 50 accounting software, not just Sage 50, also Sage 1, and Sage 50 accounting from the UK, Ireland, Canada, or the United States. And what it aims to do is to join up the majority of people across your business that are involved in transactions that either start or end in Sage 50, but do not necessarily have direct access to Sage 50. And it connects the entire company together, no matter what office you're in, where you're, where you're located, what team you're in, to, to collaborate together to get work done more effectively. So let's take a quick look and, and, and see what I mean. Here I am logged on to Santico as Dolores Flowers, the president of a fictitious company called Bell Bellwether Garden Supply. And you can see straight away that it's a web-based system. And in the background, I'm pulling up information from my Sage 50 system, all my sales information, my purchase information, product, product sales, and, and, and so on. In the background, what's happening is I've got a connector installed against my Sage 50 system. In this instance, I'm running Sage 50 US edition uh, 2015, and that connector is running live, which basically means it's polling, continuously polling Sage 50, looking for updates, and any time it spots an update, it pushes that those changes through up into Sintico so that the rest of the business can see what's going on in Sage 50. And of course, it's a web 
being a web-based system, that also means you can get access to it via mobile devices. And so what we have here is we have an example of an, a, a different user logged on using an iPad. Equally, he could be using a, a, a smartphone and really any web-enabled device um, you can access Santigo from. But before you start getting concerned about all this free access to your Sage 50 data, of course, you have very tight control over who has access to this and what they can do. And the administrator of your Centico system controls this through the area of, of user management. And there you can define the different access profiles that you want, what you can, what you can see, what you can update, what you can delete, what you can export, what you can import into the system. And you can define as many of the different roles as you want, whether it's you're providing full access, whether you're providing limited, limited access maybe to some external reps or independent reps that are representing your business uh, for you. So that's, that's how you control the different uh, user access to, to your data. But we go a step further than that because we also recognize that you might not just want to give somebody access to all customers. You may, you may only want to give them access to certain customers. So we've, we've taken it further than that. And at the individual user level, if we take Callista Swenton as an example, you can define firstly what company she has access to, whether or not she can access all accounts within the system, whether or not she can see her own accounts, or whether or not she can see the accounts belonging to a territory, which is a group of accounts that you can define, or an account team, which is a group of sales reps and their accounts that you can define. So there's a very flexible structure there whereby you, you can control access in a very fine-grained way down to the individual accounts within the system. So if I very quickly go back and if I pull up as administrator the list of accounts here, as Dolores, what we will see, for example, is that I have access to 81 records in, in the system. And if you flip over to uh, uh, my colleague, Derek, who's, who has a different access profile, accessing the same company data, and because of his settings, he can only see 16 account records. So that's just a simple example of how you can control access to individual accounts within the system. Now, so far we've only talked about access to um, Sage 50 data, but of course, if we're talking about a company-wide system and involving your sales reps in particular, we need to, to, to provide access to your prospects as well. And we do that in Santico, and you can just create additional, additional uh, accounts which may not be set up in Sage 50. There may be a prospect accounts. There may be just general business contacts that you've got that you're not trading with. And you can, you can add as many of those as you want and as many contacts, just like you would in a, in a contact management system. But if they then become customers, then you can merge those records with your Sage 50 records and you won't lose any of the history that you've had in, in, involved with them. Now, in the introduction, I was talking about the importance of being able to find information from a, a productivity point of view. And that's something that we do really well uh, within Santico. So we provide a number of ways to do that. Firstly, there's a great global search facility here. Uh, I'm just key in the um, thing, ARM, and it's, it's pulled back one sales account, for example, three documents, one contact, and 14 wall postings. I'll come on to that later that contain that string ARM. And I can drill down and take a look if I want um, to see Armstrong landscaping and drill down to the detail of Armstrong land, landscaping and see all the detail, the invoices, the orders and, 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 and so on related to that particular account. Another way I really help you to find information within Santico is through other facilities like the use of bookmarks. And as a user, I can bookmark any record that I want. And these are personal to me. And what it means is when I log on to the system, my bookmarked records all automatically appear at the top. But I might also want to be tracking information that other people are working on in the system to do with maybe a transaction or an account. And here, what I can just choose to do is I can choose to follow 
different records in the system. And again, it can be an account record or a transaction record. And any record that I follow, if there's an update to that record, that update will appear in my wall. So it's just like a Facebook timeline, but for use within your own company. And it gives you your own personalized view of what's happening within the business and within the company. And again, just like uh, with Facebook, you can choose to uh, use this wall to discuss issues with, with colleagues to do with an account or a transaction or just general business. So I can just say, um, I go back to our friend Armstrong Landscaping. I can just make a comment that um, you know, has a very high balance. Um, I can direct this to uh, Eric that we were talking about earlier. This works again. It works just like just like Facebook. This is going to post this note to to Derek's Derek's wall. Um, I can say what is going on. Okay. And it, of course, I could be more scientific than I. I could add files and and, and share that information with him. That that's been posted uh, to Derek, and I would expect um, a, a comment back. But I can go more sophisticated than than that, and I can create tasks linked to any record in the in the system, and. It's very flexible because I can create different types of task. Now, in this demonstration example, I've created generic types like collections, goods, re goods receipt confirmation, payment requests, approvals, and so on. But uh, that's completely configurable, and you can define those the way you want. Okay, so you can create tasks. You can link those tasks to uh, account records. You can post them to other users. You can assign the tasks to other users within the system and, and track them that way. So it's an extremely flexible way to manage that workflow through the business among all the majority of people there that are involved in a transaction that hits your Sage 50 records but may not have direct access to your Sage 50 system. And the same is true of events as well. An event is like a task, but it's a calendar entry. Again, it can be linked to any record in the system, whether it's a customer or, an, or, or, or a transaction, and you can link it to colleagues, and but it's tied to a particular start and finish time, unlike a task. Um, and then finally, if, if we've got the idea of having all this information uh, within the system and this company-wide database, one of the very popular things that uh, people and our customers like to do then is to use this to start building and, and, and embarking on customer newsletters to stay, stay in touch with the customers. And of course, because it's linked with your, your Sage 50 system, you can target this very specifically based on the products they've previ previously purchased, purchased and so on. And there we have a, a pre-built integration to MailChimp, which is an extremely easy to use uh, e-marketing system and with, with, with actually an incredibly good free plan for small to medium sized businesses. So that's a, a whistle stop tour of Santico as a cloud extension to your Sage 50, to your Sage 50 system. Um, but of course, that's all it is. It's just a whistle stop tour to give you a flavor of what it is. But just in terms of how people are using it, well, I'm highlighting kind of top five use cases, as it were. One is business mobility, just to provide mobile access to your company data uh, wherever you are, as long as you've got uh, an internet connection. Business to business account management is another very common uh, use case, particularly in a scenario where, where you're working with independent reps and you, you want to provide deep information to a small group of accounts for them. Accounts receivable and payable processing and e-marketing I also mentioned as common use cases. But please, don't take my word for it. Here is what a couple of, of our customers have got to say about Santico. I would like to add, please don't take their word for it either, because the good news is, if you think this is interesting for your business and getting connected to your Sage 50, go to our website, santico.com, and just click on the button, try our demo, and we will send you access to log in to the demo account that you've taken a look at today. Thank you very much.